Look at all this lot. Blimey. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2 0 iqj So this week's video we're going to take a quick look at the Moonraker MRW HF100 antennas. Now these go from 6 metres right the way down to 40 metres. It's a collection of um, telescopic antennas you can connect to your radio, such as the X5105, the new Zyger with a colour screen. Um, you can do it on the FG817. Add a suitable counterpoise and then you can use it as a handheld walkie-talkie. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Walkie-talkie for 20 metres. Also, I'm going to do got a mod to show you for the X5105 to make it easier to connect up the counterpoise wires. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we're going to look at the Moonraker MRWHF100 antenna. So let's see what we've got in the box. We get the instructions there. Tells you what the antenna is. Tells you the frequencies it covers. So 7, 10, 14, 18, 21, 24, 28 and 50. Tells you it's got a gain of 2.15 dBi. That's a BNC connector there. Maximum power 50 watts, but if you're in a handheld, you can put 50 watts in your hand. And it tells you there the length. Also tells you here, so 7.1 megs, tells you what length the antenna should be, and there's instructions there. Now we've got in the box here, we've got the telescopic whip. You adjust and screw into one of these. So there you go. And on the end of these, we've got the BNC connection there. So your antenna would screw into there. Add a suitable counterpoise and you should be good to go. So there's one there for 50 megs. Now the counterpoise should be 180 divided by the frequency. So thanks for that QRP King. When it gives you the frequency in feet and you can convert feet to meters. So there's one for 28 megs, 24 megs, 21 megs, 18 megs, 14 megs, 10 megs. And the one for 7 megs. It's got some heat shrink tube around it. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe because I've got to add something else around the side there. I can feel a few bumps there. But we're going to add the counterpoise wire in a future video and we'll see, see what they're like on the air. But let's show you the simple mod that I'm doing for the Zygu X5105 to make uh, adding counterpoise to that radio a lot easier. Okay, to do the mod on the Zygu to make it easier to add the counterpoise wires, we're going to use some springs. Now, I've got here newest spring assortment that I got from Amazon, around about eight, nine quid for a different load of springs there. I'm also going to use some of these, which are ring terminal connectors, and all you do is just remove the blue bit, and it just fits over the antenna socket on the radio. So, there's the Zygu, there's the spring that's gone on. Let's add the connection there, so the ring terminal connector, and then we're going to add this antenna on top. There we go, makes it nice and tight. Swing it around there, makes the antenna connection nice and tight. Then all you can do now is add on your clip lead there with your counterpoise. Adjust the length of the whip when you have it connected and get it down the SWR low enough, say 1.6, 1.7, press the trigger button on the radio, it should bring it down. So that's a little simple mod for the Zygote I'll be playing about with. Now I'm not sure whether the spring should actually go over the hole of the socket or just how I've got it there, if you can see that. So I'll be playing around with different springs and in here, there's quite a lot of springs in there to play about with. And if you find that it doesn't fit or it's too tight to get on, just use a pair of cutters to cut this, the spring in half, which is what I did for that one there. So we go, the Moonraker MRW HF100 antennas. Whether these antennas are any good, depends on what counterpoise I add, what things I'm going to try on, if I can get the SWR low enough. So I'll be playing around with that at some point in the week. So I'll be playing around with this as well. This is the SALT100 antenna analyzer. I'll be adding a ring terminal connected to the top there adding counterpoise and adjusting the length of the whip so I can get the SWR low enough for say 20 metres or 10 metres and so on see if I can make contacts across the band now my friend Fico, I mean Fio gave me a load of this wire here, check this out, speaker wire so cheers Fico, I mean Fio he's told me to call him Fico, he's not really thick anyhow, give me this speaker wire so it should make, uh, should be good enough to use as a counterpoise I think it's about 30 metres he says there so cheers for that Fio and you're going to split it down the middle make yourself a couple of counterpoise for these antennas. Anyhow, if you found the video some amusing what to do, give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you're going to make some contacts with these antennas on the band. This is 2E0 IQJ, 7-3 for now.